in a young cutie's heart How the trivia can free her whenever it starts How's this for magic, huh? They shrugged me into a bubble and bumped me all the way up here. Wouldn't Guardia Leviosa much? I'm a bubble boy now. Hey, Ma, what do I gotta do around here? Get some food, I'm starving. What are you looking at? You ever see a kid in a bubble before? Why am I doing Seinfeld? This is, this is Harry Potter trivia night. Oh, hello, H cuties. This is it, Harry Potter night on HQ. Yes, trivia at nine. Words is getting in on the action at 9.30. We're doing it on this Thursday, March the 21st. You're a quizzard, Harry. And, it, and, and, and I, am, I am your host. The Quizzener of Azkaban, Hermione Gamer, Grayback with the Greenbacks, the Snape with the Japes, Harry Scotter Rogowski, live from the Hogwarts School of Witchcraft and Quizardry. My, uh, my robes in the dry cleaners. If you're a Potterhead, Tonight's quiz is right up your diagon alley. I'm asking 12 questions all about the quizzarding world, answer them all, and win a share of $5,000. Now, I'm not up on the latest conversion rates, but uh, that's a lot of canuts. We'll have to check with 4X on that one. Look at your avies. Look, the HQ sorting hat puts you all into houses for tonight's game. Do you agree with your selection? Let me know in the chat, or not. Here's a spell for you. Swipe the chat to the right and say, Obliviate. It's gone. Hey, we kicked off season three of HQ last night. Very exciting. New features, bigger prizes, and we heard you like leveling up, so we're dishing out more points this season than ever before. Oh yeah, baby. In case you don't know, levels make it easier for you to win HQ. The higher your level, the more free passes you earn on questions through the game. Players who reach level 10 will need to answer just a few questions correctly to win the whole kit and caboodle. And guess what? You now get points when you play HQ Words. Backing up the points truck for season three. In words, you earn points for every letter you get correct. Plus, points when you solve a puzzle. And more points for time bonuses. Points on points on points. But that's not the final word on words, oh no. Last night, some of you met the HQ Words Super Wheel. You get it by inviting your friends to play words with your referral code. Referral code, spin it to win packs of letters and extra lives. Yes, you can win extra lives. So invite a friend to play after trivia and you both get a free spin on that super wheel. You gotta have the most recent version of the app. So update it, people. Are you sitting there thinking I already invited all my friends? Well, we wiped the slate clean on referrals for season three. Reinvite all your friends to play HQ season three and you both get an extra life. Yeah, I'm talking double extra lives. Look at that. There are even more surprises in store for season three. If you can believe it, you never know what'll happen when you're live on HQ. This is a lot to take in. Why don't you uh, chill for a minute and watch the commercial. We'll be doing Shazam trivia night before you know it. Do you have an extra life? Mm, wait till after the game before you start referring all your friends and you don't want to do it right now, but wait, wait, wait till after. You can get an extra life now if you don't have one or don't forget streaks, play five days in a row, get one for free. And remember, in addition to the pot of gold at the end of this trivia rainbow tonight, you're also earning points all along the way. We're feeling generous tonight, throwing a four times points multiplier on every question, four times the points. And if that's not enough, you can add even more multipliers on top of the four times already by tapping on your screen right now. Those multiply the multipliers. It's crazy. Hey, uh, we got a little time here before the game starts. I got some Bernie bots, every flavor beans. Why don't you tell me which, which, which bean you want me to try? Sausage, rotten egg, or soap? I got some samples here. Oh gosh, I really don't. I might have a deathly allergy to this. Do we have a, do we have it? Put in the chat right there, let me know. What, what do you think, sausage, rotten egg? Soap, what are you saying? Are these, are these parv? Oh my gosh, we got rotten egg. It's rotten egg. Oh, oh I need some soap to wash it down. Oh, sausage. Mm. Oh. Oh. Soap is, is definitely the worst. 
Are you fluent in parcel tongue? Can you pass the ultimate owl test? Welcome to the Triquizard Tournament, HQDs. It is 9.05. We are live with over a half a million of you in the game around the world. What do you say we get down to the nitty gritty and get this show on the road? Accio, Kimuro, Uno. In the Harry Potter books, who is known as he who must not be named? Darth Sidious, Voldemort, Mr. Rogers. According to Miss Rowling herself, rolling, 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 we've all been pronouncing this name wrong the whole time. That's what happens when you're not supposed to call him by his name. I can't believe I just said it there in the options. I'm gonna whisper it this time. Voldemort. Voldemort, silent T. It's supposed to be a silent T according to JK. 461,400. No JK, no just kiddings from you. You're serious about your Harry Potter. The rest of you, come on, Mr. Rogers. All right, this wasn't for you, clearly. Q2, which of these is an official class at Hogwarts? Computer science, muggle studies, or differential geometry? You know, Hogwarts classes were noticeably lacking in STEM courses, but honestly, if you're a wizard, do you really need to know, like, the Krebs cycle? Maybe, maybe all these subjects are covered in muggle studies, hmm? That's the answer here, 458,289er. Got this one right. Hey, JK, where's your pedantic tweet clarifying this one? W what's in muggle studies? Let us know. We don't want to know who's sleeping with each other. Just what kind of classes are these guys taking? Hey, you think uh, HQ's too easy for you? Yeah, well, welcome to Smarter Days. Starting this Saturday on HQ, we're doing harder quizzes in trivia and words. And Sunday, we're doing a Disney night with a twist. Disney villains? Ursula? Maleficent? The, what's the Snow White one called? Queen? Evil Queen? Gilbert Gottfried's gonna be here. Yeah, Iago, Aladdin. And next Thursday... Okay, they're, they're playing the music. It's Star Wars night! I don't have to hum it. It's part of the graphic. That's how good we are here. 9 o'clock and 9.30 next Thursday, Star Wars. But we got more Harry Potter. You don't care about those other franchises. You want Harry. Q3. What house did the Sorting Hat once describe as taking the rest of Hogwarts students, Gryffindor, Slytherin, or Hufflepuff. Who got uh, Gryffindor tonight? Slytherin, who, who, what, what's, what's your Ivy? I didn't get one. We're talking about the Rodney Dangerfield of houses here. This one doesn't get no respect. No respect at all, I tell you. By book five, this house is where they put everyone who doesn't have any noteworthy traits. Oh, Hufflepuff. Good Hufflepuff, she took the rest and taught them all she knew. I knew it was you, Hufflepuff. I knew it was you. 307,093 of you are huffing and puffing. Blowing this quiz down. You're in the right house tonight, Mikasa Esukasa at Q4. Which of these characters is an Animagus? Rita Skeeter, Remus Lupin, or Cedric Diggory? Ah, is there anyone better at character names than J.K. Rowling? Cedric the Tournament Enterer? Diggory? Lupin could change into a wolf but only because he was a werewolf. That's distinctly different from lovely Rita, meet a maid, who could change into a beetle at will. That's animagery, animagic. 163,367 got this one right, but 245,000 did not. Do we have savagery at Q4? So early tonight, oh boy, Oberto, oh my Lanta. Savage Q4 knocking out Nearly a quarter of a million players in a single question. You're skeeting on out of here. Scoot, you're gone, unless you got an extra life. We're getting Q4 right now, according to J.K. Rowling. Which creature's hair forms the core of the Elder Wand, Unicorn, Acromantula, or Thestral? The Elder Wand, who's got... Who knows about their elders? Who respects the elders here? The Elder Wand was created to conquer death. It makes sense that it uses the hair of a creature that can only be seen by those who have witnessed death or truly understand it. That would be a Thestral. What are they? They're called Thestrals. <laughs> Skeletal winged horses? Creepy AF. Death becomes her for 200,000 plus of here on another savage question back to back jacks. Tom Amansky's AAU National Championships back to back. Of course, you Harry Potter fans probably don't get that reference. 82,348 of you got this question right. You're still alive, baby, for Q6. 
the halfway point. Who destroyed the locket Horcrux? Creature, Regulus Black or Ron Weasley? The locket Horcrux. I'm a locket man. Locket man, burning out the Horcrux here alone. R.A.B. and Creature tried to get rid of it first, but they just can that. Came down to Ron Ron. Uh-huh, LeBron Weasley. The king, 116,833 of you. You knew about the locket. You got a rocket in your pocket. Finger in the socket. I guess 30,000 30, plus have the finger in the socket. You're fried, you're out of here. Q7, which of these character names appears in the official Hogwarts school motto? Severus, Draco, or Sirius? Now she want a photo. You already know though, you only live once. That's the motto, Muggle Yolo. This motto translates to English as, never tickle a sleeping dragon. As I'm sure you all know, that is Latin for Draco Dormian's Nunquam Titillandus. Draco is your answer here. Malfoy, yeah, the bad boy, Malfoy. 81,600, bad, 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 bad boys. Magna es veritas, great is the truth. You knew the truth at Q7. Excelsior, you're going upwards to Q8. Mm. Which of these subjects did Dumbledore officially teach at Hogwarts? Charms, transfiguration, or potions? Hi, I'm Dumbledore. You might remember me from teaching such subjects as Defense Against the Dark Arts and Woodshop. But we're talking about an old dude with a long career and beard. And in his later years, Dumbledore became Hogwarts Professor of Transfiguration. Yes, the branch, branch of magic that focuses on the alteration of an object's form or appearance. Mixing up the molecules, it's crazy what these people can do. You see these wizards? 62,464 transfigurating... Trans... Your turn... Transfigurates? That was Q8? All right. Moving right along to Q9. Ron is a keen reader of a comic book about which of these figures? Wild Warlock, Mad Muggle, or the Grouchy Goblin? You think Dumbledore is into Mumblecore? I bet the Puffy Chair is his favorite movie. Big Joe Swanberg fan. Ron seems to have a fairly straightforward sense of humor. In a glimpse of the comic that he's reading in the Harry Potter films, it appears to be about some kind of bumbling Frenchman. Alan Moore, it ain't. But Martin Miggs, the Mad Muggle, it is. Yes, the Mad Muggle is the comic. Who knows this deep cut? And by the way, I know Swanberg didn't direct the puffy chair. Okay, that's Duplass Brothers. Don't at me, bro. 35,361 of you got this one right. Mad Muggle it is. Ron keeps a stack of these comics in his bedroom in the burrow. The more you know. Q10, according to Slughorn, what is a good way to disable a muggle burglar alarm? The impediment jinx, a switching spell, or the freezing charm? Slughorn Leghorn, no. It's Professor Horace Eugene Flaccus Slughorn, potions master, eventually head of Slytherin House. He offered up this life hack. If you accidentally set off your burglar alarm, cast a freezing charm on that sucker. Tonight's forecast, a freeze is coming. 32,962, casting a spell on this quiz. You got this quiz under your spell tonight, baby. I don't know what to say. You're cruising through this thing. You got 10 questions correct. Ice to meet you. Why am I doing Batman and Robin quotes? This is a Harry Potter quiz. I'm stuck on the freezing thing, Mr. Freeze. Q11, the penultimate question tonight. Which of these is a canon Beetle the Bard fairy tale? The Wand of Wands, the Dragon and the Quaffle, or the Fountain of Fair Fortune? Now all of these sound like killer writing prompts for JK during her morning pages, but she actually wrote up one of these in her Tales of Beetle the Bard, a book that she made seven handmade copies of, sold one of them at auction for nearly four million dollars, and in that book you'll find the Fountain of Fair Fortune. Yes, that is your answer here at Q11, 27,679. Could have a fortune in their fair future. Could be a fountain of fortune spouting all over you. If you, if you win the quiz, $5,000 is at stake here. Q12 is where we find ourselves. The final round, it all boils down to this. We start with over a half a million of you, down to 27,679. A lot of Potterheads, you know your stuff. 
do you know Q12 for a piece of that $5,000 prize? Which of these topics does Severus Snape teach as a defense against the dark arts teacher? Nonverbal spells, inferior defense, or the knockback jinx? R.I.P. Alan Rickman. He was born to play Snape. We miss you every day, Alan. Outside of Lupin and maybe Barty Crouch Jr. in disguise, Snape ended up being one of the gang's better Dada teachers, including when he taught them how to cast those oh-so-tricky non-verbal spells for the win, and 16,764 of you, Accio winner circle, baby! Woo! Rocket ship! You were a rocket man. You were a locket man and then a rocket man. You got that rocket, because you won HQ, baby. Now you got 30 cents in your pocket. How about that? More, more valuable than 30 cents, I would say. The ultimate Harry Potter fan bragging rights. You are the ultimate fan. Spread it to all your friends. Tell the world. Shout it from the mountaintops. Tweet about it. You get points for tweeting, I think, and referring your friends. And, and then you could go in the, and invite your friends to play with your code, and then you get extra lives. Hey, Renster, follow the something Limbo, Super Gen Gen, Cody Elizabeth, Pritchma, Leah, Notorious Elf. Congrats to all of you and the 16,758 others. That's Harry Potter Night Part One. It continues in just a few short minutes with words. Harry Potter Night continues 9.30. If you didn't get enough now, oh, you don't want to miss words with Anna Royceman at 9.30. And remember, Sunday night, we're doing that Disney villains theme show. That's gonna be special. Haven't tried that before. Ellen, you like Disney? Walt Quisney is gonna be in the Hisney with Gilbert Gottfried. Affleck! Yahoo! Next Thursday, Star Wars night. Come on, don't forget about that. Oh, we'll play the graphic one more time. Sure, why the heck not? Look at that, we're going warp speed, baby. Next Thursday, it's gonna be April? Not quite. Not quite. March 28th. We're almost to April, folks. The last Thursday of March. Until I see you all again, I am Scott Rogowski. You've been a wonderful Harry Potter audience. Signing off for tonight saying, it is our choices, HQDs, that show what we truly are, far more than our abilities. That's a quote from the book.